Jesus stands for freedom and courage. We are struck by Jesus' determination, his courage, and his supreme freedom. Jesus was arrested, led to the Praetorium, interrogated by those who had the power to condemn him and have him put to death. In such a situation, he had every right to defend himself and to even make an arrangement by coming to a compromise. Instead, Jesus did not hide his identity. He did not mask his intentions or take advantage of the opening that even Pilate had left for him. With the courage born of truth, Jesus answered, I am a king. He took responsibility for his own life. I have a mission, and I will carry it to fulfillment in order to bear witness to my Father's kingdom. For this I was born, he continued, and for this I came into this world to testify to the truth. This is Jesus Christ, who came without duplicity in order to proclaim by his life that his kingdom is different from the kingdoms of this world, that God Almighty does not reign in order to increase his power and to crush others. He does not reign by force of arms. He is the kingdom based upon love. I am a king, but not of this world, not of this kingdom, but of a kingdom of those who give their lives for the salvation of others, a kingdom of love. Jesus' freedom draws us in, lets us allow it to resonate within us, to challenge us, to awaken in us the courage born of truth. Let us ask ourselves this question. Were I in Pilate's place, looking Jesus in the eye, of what would I be ashamed? Faced with the truth of Jesus, the truth that is the Christ, what are the ways I am deceitful or duplicitous? What are the ways I would displease Jesus? Each of us will find such ways if we are speaking truth. We all have these duplicities, this compromising, these arranging of things so that the cross will go away. It will not become our responsibility. It will not be our way. It is good to stand before Jesus who is truth, in order to be set free from our own illusions of untruth. It is good to worship Jesus, to be inwardly free, to see life as it really is, and not to be deceived by the fashions of the moment and the false displays of the consumerism that dazzle but don't satisfy. Friends, we are not here to be enchanted by the sirens of the world, but to take our lives in hand and to take a bite out of life in order to live life fully for every second on earth that we are given. Do not cheat. 
Do not try to milk an extra day, for that is cheating. But in truth, look to Christ for the truth, for honesty, and for humility. And then follow him to the place that he made in his father's house just for you. Because remember, he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, and he is the only way you get to the kingdom.